Hey, I'm Gary Summers, the king of pop culture, and you're watching The Brothers Boy. Awesome, awesome. Hey guys, I'm Josh and I'm here with Gary Summers, the king of pop culture from American Roadshow. Nope. Antiques, Antiques Roadshow. Road Antiques Roadshow. Road Show. Antiques Roadshow. Road Show. From the Antiques Roadshow. Good job. Yes. <laughs> hey, tell us, Gary. Um, tell, Gary, tell us what it was like. You got me flustered already. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been having a good time. Yes. We're at Fayetteville Comic Con. We've been having a great time. Yes. We've been talking to lots of people about stuff. Yes. And you are collectors. Yes. See, that's the key to this whole thing is collecting. Everybody has a passion for stuff. Usually it's your childhood. You're buying back your youth or you're reliving it or right. you never gave it up. Yes. So that's what the value of uh, collecting is makes you always feel young so if you always feel young you can always stay young and that's why i am 192 years old and i don't look a day <laughs> over 15. <But laughs> antiques roadshow was an interesting program because it gave the opportunity for the public to learn a lot about what we as experts know uh, about your stuff so I'll just give you a couple of quick things so you have some, I'm gonna teach you right here, right now. Value, it's based on personal opinion. So when we place a value, it's a value of many different aspects. One is the value in uh, replacement costs, which means if it burned up in a fire, how much would an insurance company cost to get you another one? Awesome. Another value would be fair market value what it would sell for in an auction or in a show like this. And then there's liquidation value. That's like what you can get for it tomorrow if you needed the money. So those three valuations play into every decision that we make as an, an appraiser. Awesome. Now you told me you were on the show for 13 seasons and you, you mentioned your, your knowledge, how many things you had up in your head. I know the value of a hundred thousand useless objects. Nice. And so, if you can use it, I probably can't help you. But you know, <laughs> if it's pur purposely used for disposal, which means you know, a planned obsolescence, like a plastic toy, a vinyl record, a comic book, the the concept was use it, throw it away, get a new one. But now all those things that you use threw away and are looking for a new one, a lot of that doesn't exist or it's out of our price range. Yes. All right. So you told me yesterday a story about the weirdest thing you've ever appraised. Can you tell the viewers about that? You're talking about the Roadshow one? Yes. So um, on Antiques Roadshow, most people don't know that in the old days, we used to see everybody who'd walk in the door. So we would see 25,000 people come through the door. So one day a guy comes walking in and you can see above everybody's head, there's a giant metal circle. Uh, and everybody's going, no, you go look, you, you go do that. <laughs> and it turned out to be the spinning jaws of death. Anyway, <laughs> that's what he said. Yes. So I said, so what is this? And he goes, spinning jaws. Of yeah. Anyway, it was a giant hoop and the hoop had two inner hoops and they would go shoot, shoot, shoot when he would turn it on. So they would get dragged out on the ice at the ice capades. They would go shoop, shoop and start spinning. And his father used to go 35 miles an hour on the skates right through it. Man, that's amazing. That's scary. Yeah, scary so, and crazy. Scary and crazy. <laughs> so we got to do it on TV and we appraised it. I appraised it at about $10,000 because that's how much it might cost to make another one because it's the only one that exists. Yes. So they actually did the appraisal at the very end of the appraisal, the thing goes zoop, 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 and then catches the camera and drags it to the ground, the guy <laughs> on the camera. So it was like, holy crap, and uh, cut, and that was it. You know, awesome. it was a great, great scene. Awesome. Well, let's talk about in your hands, you got something there. Tell us about this. Tell the listeners what we've got. Well, besides being an expert in popular culture, because I've never grown up, um, I've always been a musician and a songwriter. And I produced over a thousand concerts in my career. Everything, everybody, Prince and Stevie Ray Vaughan, the Almonds and Clapton. 
done had a great career in that. But if it's a songwriter, I finally accumulated 18 new songs and I have a new CD out. It's called Beasties, a sci-fi rock opera. Awesome. And it go, it's accompanied by three novels to tell the story of saving the planet from corporate corruption and climate destruction with rock and roll. Awesome. And it takes place with an alien intervention in a concert in Central Park. So if you got a chance, go to beastiesrockopera.com. It's on all the internet-y websites where you can download <laughs> stuff. And, and I hope you'll take a listen to it. Take a look. Take a look at it, guys. We got a copy of the CD and we got a copy of the first book. So we're going to be reading it and we'll talk about it on the channel. And hopefully we can get Mr. Summers back on there with us to discuss it. I'd be happy to come right. and hang with you guys. That's awesome. This, these guys have been a lot of fun. Yes. And Gary, Gary's been great. He said a few things we can't put on the channel and had me about to spit out my drink yesterday. So it's been a lot of fun. Yep. A lot of fun getting to know Mr. Summers here. Uh, right. Just Gary. Gary. Yeah. Yes. Mr. Summers was my father. Yes. You know. That. <laughs> hey, I'm seeing Boyd's. <laughs> Roger awesome. Rabbit is my favorite character of all. Yes. And in the first scene, I'm seeing Boyd's. Yes. <laughs>